sit back there, Captain. I'm sorry, no, I'm staring a lot. Huge fan. Huge fan. Been following your career for quite a while now. Invisible Tower, this is Shuttle Marmota. Pushing Docking Bay 4. Closing the blast shields. Shuttle Marmota, you're clear to dock. Yeah, copy you. <laughs> Truth be told, we couldn't afford to show that anyway. But uh, yeah, don't get me wrong. I know exactly where we're at. Check it out. We're gonna land in five. <laughs> Captain, uh, we're here early. I gotta say it's an honor. You know, thinking maybe uh, we could hang out or something. Go get a coffee, but you know, beer's cool. Welcome aboard the Invincible 2, Captain. Glad to have you here. It took you long enough. But let me give you the grand tour before we embark. This is my pride and joy. Ah! My baby. Well, your baby, I guess now. But I made her. And a baby will always remember. Father. Space. It's so beautiful. The elegance. The story of why I love space. Oh, that's so cool. So cool. My computer can't handle the rendering. Oh, that's so And billions of stars. Um, there are billions and billions of galaxies. All right. There's nothing I like more than space. So let's blow something up here. Let's blow something up here. Oh, oh, oh. If there was a program for volunteers to go into space with like a hundred percent chance of dying from death by space, I would be first in line. If they needed brave volunteers, or stupid volunteers, I would be there so fast. Oh, that's so cool. So cool. My computer can't handle the rendering. Oh, that's so cool. So cool. Oh, it's so pretty. So pretty. There are billions and billions of stars. Um, there are billions and billions of galaxies. All right! There's nothing I like more than space. So let's blow something up here. Let's blow something up here. Oh, oh, oh. Every tiny speck is probably a star. It's so big. Every speck is so big. I would love every struggle, the terrible experience that it may or may not be with certain death on the horizon just for a chance to go into space. Oh, that's so cool. So cool. My computer can't handle the rendering. Oh, that's so cool. So cool. Oh, it's so pretty. So pretty. There are billions and billions of stars. Um, there are billions and billions of galaxies. All right. There is nothing I like more than space. So let's blow something up here. Let's blow something up here. Oh, 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 oh that's so cool. If anything goes wrong, we can detonate these explosives and separate the warp core from the rest of the ship. I've yet to meet a problem that can't be solved with explosives. I said no! Stay with me! Think of the children! Come on! You owe me 50 bucks! My God. 
We're stuck in a goddamn wormhole. All stress is redlining across all decks. It's holding for now, but who knows how long that's gonna last. Event Horizon Protocol activation successful. Ship is free from the effects of the wormhole. Only a melody So pretty What a pity There were billions and billions of stories And infinite, infinite stars We did our best to hold it together But now the seams are all pulling apart. Space was so cool, so cool, but it won't even live in a memory. If there was a way that I could change All that's been wrecked, rewrite the regrets Let's leave no stone unturned Though you mourned the loss of your good friend Mark, it seemed like his demise was barely a hindrance on your continued success. Although the loss of the Warp Core meant that the Invincible 2 could only traverse the stars by conventional means, it just so happened that the wormhole dropped you in a system with a habitable planet. A planet that seemed even better than the one that Mark had picked out. You personally led the scouting team down to the surface, always leading from the front. Together, you established humanity's first colony among the stars. You spent the rest of your days shepherding these people, your crew, your family. You were the one to break ground on the first new building of your glorious colony. You were the one to deliver the first baby born on another planet. You were the one to teach that baby all through his life because no one else could do it as well as you. You were the one to grow all the crops because no one else could be trusted to do it but you. You watched over every moment of every colonist's lives. You grew old while the colony grew strong. A fair trade in your eyes. And on your deathbed surrounded by loving friends and family, you rested easy knowing that the colony would live on. But not that easy. You had this lingering suspicion that the moment that you passed away, everything would turn to chaos and everyone would die. Oh well, nothing more you can do. Even though you're trying very hard to do so. It's so cool, so cool, and so pretty. Mm.